Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get this super bomb half up half down with this side swoop bang with these nice loose barrel curls. I feel like I look good. The baby hairs is on point. If you yourself want to know how to get on point, go ahead and keep on watching and we can get into it. All I gotta say is mwah, and you already know who it is. <laughs> Today's unit is a 13 by 4, 24 inch straight unit sent to me from Unice Hair. 13 by 4 on the frontal. And you see it's not like the all the way around frontal. I made sure I showed you guys because sometimes I'd be forgetting. I'm going to go ahead and use two layers of the Evens Wonder Active Spray. And I did it off camera so that when we come back, I can just do, just do the one and we can just get into it. I'm cutting off a little bit of the access lace on this because it'd be interfering with my lashes. And who got time to be blinking when you're crumping on a wig? not me so now i'm gonna throw that bad boy on and get it adjusted so that i can cut my ear tabs off and the pluck was giving like it always does and if you're wondering like how do you pluck julia like i told y'all one day when i get my my technique solidified and like i know exactly what to do i'll go ahead and share that with you guys i know i feel like i've been doing this for a long time but there's always room for improvement and like relearning and doing so right now i'm trying to relearn and get some steps in i'm really kind of hurt at myself that i recorded this video before tay dropped his little swoop tutorial and i heard he don't even use a bobby pin for the uh swoop i ain't watched the video because i'm gonna i'm gonna do it again like i think i'm gonna do this technique again but do it tay's way and see if it like is different so i'm definitely gonna go check out his youtube channel after, when it's time to like record it i want to be like surprised when it happens because i already know like tay be doing hair and there's nothing i'm gonna go back to doing this this third layer boom third layer on gonna do it in sections so that it's easy to apply this is the most beginner friendly way i think i think doing the whole hairline and shoving it all on at once is real advanced and even me like a couple years into this I ain't at that advanced level, so I do it like this. But y'all know how it goes. By this point, I go ahead and spray, then I lay, then I blow, and yeah, and then I repeat to the next side. Pretty simple. This is like the easiest install way possible to me with this spray. It makes it so simple, and I'm a, I'm a stand at this spray, I gotta say. So now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the steps. Y'all know what, what the fuck I be doing. So, we can talk about something else now. How's your day going? Like, what's tea? You know Valentine's Day is coming up. Like, are you single? Are you going out with your boo? And if you're single, like, don't worry. Because, like, on the 15th, you're still going to be single. So, like, you know, why be sad? You're single on the 14th when on the 15th, you are going to be single as well. So, you know, this <laughs> is going to be okay. <laughs> and I'm saying that from experience, y'all. Your bitch going to be single on the 15th as well. So, let's let's suck up them tears. And buy yourself your own damn chocolate. Get you some your own damn edible arrangement. That's what I'm finna do. Think I'm not gonna get no edible arrangement on Valentine's Day because I'm single? The fuck? I'll get my own edible arrangement. I never, I never needed nobody. <laughs> and then once I, you know, go around the whole perimeter and get everything laid down, I'll go ahead and cut off the lace and then spray it again just to ensure meltivity. And once that is all blowed down and dry, we'll move on to the next section as I do. While I'm here and doing the same thing y'all always see me doing, like, I figure why not talk about something else. So right now, like, <coughs> not me coughing right before I'm start, I'm finna start being messy. Like, what does that mean? Are you gonna stop me from being messy? No, I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Anyway, y'all seen the Alyssa Ashley thing that happened on Twitter where basically this girl tweeted, like, um, this, this one influencer only be doing, like, fitness content now. And then, like, with someone how they hated it. I don't know, it was more haterish than that. Imagine, like, somebody saying, oh, this one YouTuber is doing fitness content now. But in the most haterific way possible, you know? It's, like, the most hater way you could ever say somebody moving on different things. And then everybody in their replies to that tweet was like, oh, my God, yeah, I stopped watching as soon as she dropped that first workout video. The first workout video? Y'all didn't even give her a chance. <laughs> Y'all was like, oh, this bitch not doing, blending out that concealer no more. She want she to let them dumbbells. Uh -uh. What the fuck I came here for? And like for to an extent, like I get it. Like you know, you come to somebody for a reason. You're like, oh, I love the way she do them cut creases. I'm gonna watch her like, like, like every now and again. Like I'm, I'm gonna look forward to her for them cut creases she be doing. 
But soon as she stopped doing the cut creases and it's like, you know what? I thoroughly enjoy working out. This is the content I'm going to post because it's what I enjoy. Like, you get on Twitter being mad about it and, and being mad with all the other Maddies. I don't know. Like, that really bothered you that much? So Alyssa quoted the hateful ass tweet and was basically saying like, you know, this isn't the first time I've explored other things other than makeup. Like, you know, I've, I've done photography, I've done such and such, and like, I've made my channel a part of it. And like, defending herself. And the person was like, I can't believe that she's going to quote my tweet and let and send her her community of supporters my way when I didn't even say her name in the tweet. Like she was like, she didn't say her name in the tweet, you know, but you were talking about me. You think I'm not going to defend myself when you're talking about me? No, I don't know. And you should have thought about that before you tweeted about me, hun. You thought because I have all these followers, I wasn't going to see you talking shit. No, because I have all these followers and they done sent it to me. And like, now I know. You know I'm over here jamming, hold on. And on a super side note, I made a playlist of all my favorite Rob Banks songs. Cause I think Rob Banks make music for the bitches. And if like a singular person comments and says they want that playlist, like I'll give it to them. Cause it's the only playlist I've ever made, like ever. But um, anyway, back to the, the bullshit. You feel me? She was really mad that Alyssa actually like responded and said like defended herself. And I think that's the craziest part about this whole, like, platform is that you can, like, start off doing something you love and, like, are passionate about. And, like, once your passions change, like, it's going to reflect the content that you make, right? And so the audience can choose, like, to either fuck with that and, like, be like, wow, like, good for them. Like, they explore other things. Or they can sit up on Twitter and be like, I watched that single workout video and unsubscribe quick fast. I don't know. I just think it's, like, crazy as a... Content creator, I was gonna say influencer, I don't even think as a content creator to like watch um people just not fuck with them after they change their passions, you know? Like, I don't know, I thought that was really crazy, but you know, shout out to Alyssa Ashley for saying like bitch, I'm gonna make the content that I wanna make. And you know, I think it was really weird to the other girl. Cause after Alyssa Ashley said that and she defended herself, she was like, I can't believe you're attacking a fat black woman. And it's like you were attacking a a, a fit black woman like what was really what was really you know why would it why become you a fat black woman now well you wasn't a flat you was you was the same fat black lady talking stuff like i don't know so what because you queer fat and black like that mean you can't like get talked about as well like i don't know like you know y'all know i'm all for like my black people my queer folks you feel me but if you're actively talking about somebody and then and then you get caught talking shit, and the first thing you say is, well, I'm a black, fat, queer woman. And it's just like, you're making us look bad. You're making us look bad. You're making it seem like all the fat, queer, black people are acting, are like haters like this. And it's just like, they're not. You're the only hater here, hun. And you just so happen to be black, fat, and queer. Now, y'all know I'm not a drama channel or anything. I'm literally just making y'all watch me put flat iron this bang to the front. You feel me? Like... I'm not here to discuss the tea. I just thought it was relatable due to the fact that I had been saying for a long time that I wanted to get out this box and then to like notice in real time somebody like hating somebody. And then this is when I realized I had to do this again. Like I fucked up and I had to cut that open again. Y'all know how I do once I get to these half up, half downs. Like something go wrong, I gotta do it again. So I did. But anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> um, I was saying that you can have this niche for your channel and that's your thing that that thing that you're known for but like even in Alyssa Ashley's like position she's always like filmed about things that she was passionate about she was passionate about makeup for a long time and then that's what she recorded about when she got into that little photography bag she was like oh, excuse me I'm burping and shit she was like this is what I'm passionate about and like this is what I got going on right now and this is what I'm fucking with I hope y'all fuck with it too and like what's the harm in that so you for me i don't know it was like discouraging in a way to see like a long time supporter be like this bitch working out and eh. you know but like also she has the right to feel like that you know she's like hey i i signed up for, for this creator because she knows how to get her complexion just right and now she's over here showing us how to lift weights and it's just like it doesn't apply to me and like that's fine as well like i don't know it's like all different types of sides in the spectrum of like the creator to like the consumer pipeline you know this is an Ali Pearl um, headband this is not an Ali Pearl wig 
you feel me i gotta use what's available so i use this scarf but um yeah i don't know i guess in so many words i just want to say like i'm gonna do what the fuck i want and like i hope y'all fuck with me doing what the fuck i want and like if y'all don't that's cool too but don't tweet about me because if you tweet about me and i see that you're tweeting about me like i'm gonna respond so yeah i'm sure everybody want to know what jaleel would have did in that situation same thing it actually would have did except i probably would have you know, a little meaner but that's just me enough of the twitter beef and back to the hair um i'm really not that good at curling hair like with this this um barrel i just haven't found like the flick of the wrist the movement that really like does it i feel like i'll get it right on one side and then it's time to switch to the other side and my my wrist be acting dumb so i only like recorded this side but um i split it up for y'all sometimes y'all don't want to see this y'all don't want to watch me flip this shit around every on over and over again y'all need to watch like a cosmetologist do it that's another thing like i've been thinking like i really wanted to go to cosmetology school but just like how am i going to put my life on hold to go to cosmetology school but i just feel like if i learned how to do things the correct proper way like it would translate in my videos better and like i could step out the box and do other things such as like making wigs for sale like coloring them myself and coloring them the correct way but either way let me turn around and do this transition real quick yeah yeah that that was the bomb transition think i'm gonna keep talking over the transition fuck no look at that transition anyway um yeah i would really like to just spend some time to like learn my craft but it's just like life don't stop and i gotta keep making these videos because i gotta pay these bills and yeah but one day i'm gonna go to cosmetology school so i can record and show y'all everything that i learned so y'all don't gotta go to cosmetology school but I guess my unlicensed ass still be teaching. So here we are now in the current time in the present. Um, I'm going ahead and curling all my baby hair with that bed pixie curling iron. If you wonder what products I use, you already know they're in the description box. Um, if you're on the browser, I mean, if you're not on the browser, if you're on your TV, like go on your phone and go to my description box. And then while you're on your phone, go ahead and leave a comment and like the video. I really appreciate it <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use my edge control and my rs grip gel and just go ahead and get these baby hairs laying how i want them to lay use my finger to you know bounce off of and just getting that desired look it takes me a long periodically time but i just stick to it and i get that shit done like period as i do and I'm gonna move on to the other sections. I love the sideburns. Like, they always be looking so good. Um, yeah, just watch me swoop that. It just happens so easily, you know? And then we're gonna do that other side. Mmm, I just, I, I'm really watching myself like, wow, I really be doing hair sometimes. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, so I get my little curly cue. I lay it down the right way. Um, I think I cut that that one a little too long because that's what i was playing with but after i was done i went ahead and unpinned my hair with my duck clips and just let it go um this hair didn't really hold a, a curl too well but i think it's because of the straight hair and also like i midway ran out of my sebastian shaper hairspray that i stay using that's been because i want to hear some once a time too many i guess because it's gone now i'm gonna throw on some milk and cookies oh no this is a tiramisu butter gloss i think I could be wrong. It'll be in the description box if you want to know for sure. Um, then I went ahead and unpinned the top curls. And this one I started realizing, like, maybe this wasn't the correct wig to do this style on. Because I think the density was a bit low. I'm not exactly sure what the density was. But it had to be, like, a 120. It wasn't giving no 150. You know, like, it just wasn't. I'm going to be real. Like, the hair was really good. But, like the fullness of it i'm gonna stand up and you you, um, you guys are seeing me trying to like make the the ponytail less gappy but it still was gappy like you could still see through my ponytail and i don't really like that like i like when the back of it looks full with it this is me trying to play with it and like make sure my curls stay and like you kind of see the curls but i didn't really curl too good but you see how like the hair just seems kind of spacey I don't know, but I made a TikTok during this whole thing, so I'm going to show you guys my TikTok because I was really proud of it, and I'm going to keep trying to make TikToks consistently, so here you go, my TikTok. Let's look at that. This is the part where I beg y'all to follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Please follow me on TikTok. 
Beauty via Julia. I'm gonna try to make more TikToks consistently, so please look out for that. Like, I'm trying my best to step out my comfort zone. Here's the length of the hair on me. I am 5'3 for reference. It just wants the lower middle of my back. And just me playing with the hair some more. Trying to make it just not look as spacey. Like, I don't know. But the hair was really beautiful. Like, as you can see, it was really shiny and pretty, but like, I need a higher density next time, you nice. Like, don't play with me. Like, how y'all gonna give me the low density wig? And I'm an influencer. Like, you feel me no shade like you feel me the wig was good but like you're not gonna give me the, the thickest wig y'all got on the market up at the place like that's fine like i guess they're realistic and it's probably what y'all get as well so if y'all whatever density this is please be sure to look in the description box um don't get the density get a higher density i myself am a big fan of a 200 percent density a 250 if you if you feeling crazy you feeling reckless but you feel me 150s you feel me but, um hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and what was this tutorial girl i don't know i hope y'all enjoyed this video and me chatting y'all's ear off i'll see y'all next one <laughs> bye beautiful